BJ with Team Body by DJ. We are back for an amazing core series that has no crunches. You heard that no crunches. Believe it or not, you can get that really strong core without doing thousands upon thousands of crunches. There are so many ways to work that core to make it strong, to make it get really lean. But you have to remember to do that. It's not just about doing core work. You have to be watching what you eat. You've got to be doing your cardio. You've got to be moving every single day. So remember, it's not just about doing core work and thinking that you're going to get that ripped six pack look. You have to have all parts of the triangle. You're eating on point, your cardio, your lifting, and working your core. So let's go ahead. Let's warm everything up before we even get into those core exercises. So let's stand it on up. And let's just forward fold over. Reach towards those toes. Stretch through those hamstrings, through the low back, and let's walk it all the way out into our downward dog. Let's just hold it here. And let's pedal those feet back and forth. Warming up the knees, the ankles, the hips, that upper body. Everything's going to work. Let's walk it all the way out into that plank. And let's just hold it here. Think pulling that belly button in towards our spine, squeezing our legs, squeezing our glutes, pulling those shoulder blades down into our rib cage. And let's lower all the way down. And let's just stretch it up and bring it back down. Stretch it up. Bring it back down one more time. Let's stretch it on up and let's sit it back. Hips and heels lengthening through those arms, through that low back. And let's bring it up into our tabletop. Making sure that those hands are right underneath the shoulders. The knees are right underneath the hips. Make sure they're not together. Make sure they're apart. We want that tabletop, not a tripod. We're going to take it, left arm, right leg, into our bird dog. Let's just hold it here. We want to think that left hip is right over that left knee. We're not leaning over to the side. Keeping that belly button engaged. Pull it in towards that spine. Hips are straight across. Shoulders are straight across. We have that good neutral spine. Being as long as we can be from our fingertips all the way to our toe tips. Let's bring it back down. Let's go to that other side. Let's find that position. Right hip, right over that right knee. Shoulders and hips are nice and square. Being as long as we can, fingertip to toe tip. Let's bring it back down. Let's go over to that left side. All right, we're in that position. We're gonna bring it hand to knee, curl it in, reach it back out. Curl it in, using that core to pull everything together. Breathe it out. Inhale. Breathe it out. Inhale, keeping those hips nice and square. Make sure we don't start opening up to the side. Here we go. Here's four. Inhale. Three. Inhale. Two. Inhale. One more. One. And down. Let's bring it back to our tabletop. Let's take it right on the left leg. Reach it nice and long. Here we go. Let's squeeze it in. Reach it out. Squeeze it in. Make sure we're going back to that extended position that we're not arching through that low back. We're not losing that tabletop position. Keep that core engaged. Give me four more. Four. Three, you got this. Two, one more, one, and reach. Let's bring it down and just sit it back, hips and heels. And let's flip it over onto our back. Let's take it into our dead back position. So we're going to take it, knees right over the hips, feet straight up from the knees, and those arms straight up above those shoulders, and let's squish that grape. Pretend you have that grape underneath our back, and you're squishing it down towards the ground. 
Keep that belly button in, that good tightness between your bottom rib and your hip. And let's just start. March down with one. And we pull back up. Breathe it out. Inhale. Make sure as we're stepping down, there's no movement in that knee. It's just all at that hip joint. Step it down. Pull back up. Keeping that tension through that core. Keeping that belly button squeezing in. Step it down. Pull back up. Let's go eight more. Eight. And pull. Keep that little pause on the bottom. Seven. And pull. So it's that time under tension. We're giving gravity a lot of surface area to push against as that leg is out there. Come on, you've got this. We're going to go four more. Four. And pull. Three. And pull. Two. And pull one more. One. And pull. We're going to add those arms with that straight leg this time. So right arm. Left leg. Here we go. Reach it out. And let's pull back in. Let's stay on that side. Reach it out. Pull back in. Give it eight more just on this side. Eight. And pull. Seven. And pull. Trying to keep that right leg and that left arm nice and strong, nice and stationary. Come on, you got this. Give me five more. Five. And pull. Four. And pull. Three. And in. One more. One. And pull. All right. Left leg. Right arm. Here I should say. Left arm. Right leg. Here we go. Pull it in. Reach. And pull. Reach it. Keep that good tightness through that core. Pull it. Come on. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Come on, give me five more. Five. You got this. Four. Here's three. And pull. Two. And pull one more. Here we go. One. And pull. Very good. Let's bring those feet down. Let's bring those hands down. Let's tuck that booty under into our pelvic tilt or into our bridge. We're going to hold it. We're keeping that good squeeze through the glutes. Good rib to hip in that core. Keeping both hips as stationary as we can. Arms are nice and long. We're going to lift that left leg up. Use that core to stabilize. And we're going to tap down. Bring it back up. Tap it down. Bring it back up. Come on. Here's five. And pull. Four. Really squeeze through that core. Come on. You got this. Three. Come on. You got it. Two. And one. Let's bring that left foot down. Let's bring that right leg up. Really pressing through that left leg. Squeeze with that rib to hip. Here we go. March down. Pull back up. Down. And pull. Give me five more. Five. Squeeze. Come on, you got it. Tight, tight core. Four. Three. You got this. Two. And one. Let's bring that down. Let's bring those hips down. Let's grab our mini ball. If you don't have a mini ball, you can always use a really squishy pillow. You can always use a soccer ball, a volleyball, an outdoor pool ball. You can also be using just a little kid's ball. So we're going to lift those hips up. We're going to put it right underneath that tailbone. So we're going to be resting our weight on it. And once again, bring those 
hands down by our side. Let's bring those little legs up. We're going to externally rotate those legs, so turning them out. We'll squeeze in through those legs. Long neck. Get your balance while you're here. And let's just start with one leg down. And pull back up. Other leg down. Pull back up. So you're really happy to keep that good grip, the hip and that core. Squeeze with it. And up. One more. Down. And up. You ready? Let's go both legs. We're going to bring them down. Keep squishing that grip with that low back. And scoop it back up. Lower it down. Good rib to hip. Good hollow body position. And squeeze back up. You've got this. Inhale. And exhale. You've got this. Inhale. And exhale. Come on, you got it. Bring it down. Control and squeeze back up. Don't just think about lowering your legs and lifting your legs. Use that core to pull back up. Shorten that distance between that rib and that bottom of the rib cage to that hip joint. Come on. Bring it down. Let's hold it. And let's do small circles up. Let's lower it down. Using those inner thighs as we draw that circle back up. Woo, I know they're getting tired. You've got this. Squeeze it back up. Here's five. Squeeze it up. Four. And up. Three. And up. Two. And up. One more. One. And up. Let's bend those feet down. Let's bring those hips up. Bring that mini ball out. And we're going to take it onto our side. We're going to keep that mini ball in that left hand. And we're going to take that left leg out to the side. We're going to bring that right hand behind the head. Left arm up. We're going to lean it to the side. And we're going to squeeze it in. Reach it. And squeeze it back up. Using those obliques to squeeze back in. Come on, reach. And pull. Reach. And pull. Keep that belly button in. Keep that booty tucked under. No butt sticking out. Come on, reach. And pull. Reach it. Pull it. Give me five more. Five. This is going to be our warm up to our side plank with that elbow to the knee. Three more. Three. And pull. You got this. Two. And pull. One more. One. And pull. Let's switch legs. Bring that right leg out. Right arm up. Left hand behind the head. Let's reach it. And pull. Reach. And pull. As always, you might have a side that you feel like you can go a little bit further on. That's normal. Everyone has that mobility that might be a little bit more flexible on one side versus the other. That's why we do those unilateral movements to try to get each side to move equally. Let's go five more. Five. And pull. Four. And pull. Three. And pull. One more. One. And pull. Excellent job. So let's bring that down. Let's go onto our side. Let's take it. To start with that bottom leg bend. Top leg nice and straight. Elbow right underneath that shoulder. Let's lift it up. Good belly button, belly button and rib. Squeeze that bottom side. Pressing through that arm nice and strong. And let's just hold it here. Just squeezing everything. 
making sure those shoulders are away from the ears. We'll make sure we're not collapsing down. Press away. Very good. Let's bring that arm all the way up. Straight line from that left hand to that left toe. You ready? Let's squeeze it in and back. Squeeze it and reach. Squeeze and reach. Squeeze it, elbow to knee. Keep pulling with that bottom side. Press through that bottom shoulder. Come on, five. You got this. Four. Three. Two. Come on. One more. One. And let's hold it. Let's bring that arm up by the top of the head. Let's look down towards that bottom elbow. And we're going to take it. Drop the bottom hip down. Squeeze back up. Drop it slightly down. Squeeze back up. Using those obliques on the sides. Lift and lower. Come on. Here's five. Four. You got this. Three. Two. Come on. One more. One. And let's bring it down. Let's bring that leg in. Flip it over to our other side. Bottom knee bent. Top leg straight. Let's lift it up. Press through that bottom arm. Let's take that right arm. Lengthen it all the way up. Pull that belly button in towards our spine. Really squeezing with that bottom rib to our hip. You ready? Here we go. Squeeze it in. Reach it out. Squeeze and reach. You got this. Really pull and extend. Breathe it out. Inhale. Come on. Squeeze and extend. Here's five. Four, you got this. Three. Two. One more. And one. Bring that hand up. You ready? Let's look down towards that bottom elbow. Little dip of the hip. Pull back up. Drop it. Pull it. Keeping everything nice and engaged. Push through that bottom shoulder. Squeeze with that bottom side. Come on. Five. Keep that belly button pulling in. Four. You got this. Three. Two. And one. Excellent job. Bring it down. Let's go back over to the other side. This time, let's stack the feet. Both legs are going to be nice and straight. And let's just lift it up. If you need to keep that top arm in front for a little bit of balance, go ahead do that. Really squeezing with that side, pulling into that core. If you want to bring that arm up, you can. If you want behind the ears, you can. We're getting a lot of stabilization through that shoulder joint, through that bottom side of our core, squeezing everything. Come on, you got this. We're just holding and squeezing. Oh, they feel amazing. Give me 10 more seconds. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're going to stay up, but we're going to bring that top foot and put it in front. If you need to bring it down onto that bent knee, go ahead and do that. If not, we're going to stay up in that staggered stance. Bring that arm up towards the ear, and we're going to twist it down. Bring it back up. Twist and down. If you're down on your knee, same thing. We're twisting, pulling back up. Twist, pull back up. Come on, give me five more. Five, you got this. Four, I know they're getting tired. Three, come on. Two, stay nice and strong. Here we go. One, and down. Excellent job. Bring those knees in. Let's take it over to the other side. Let's bring those feet on top of each other. Bottom arm nice and strong underneath that shoulder. Really pressing through, squeezing up, pulling that belly button in. And you get to put that top arm wherever you feel most stable. It might be straight, it might be behind the ear, it might be in front. 
Just keeping everything engaged. Make sure we're breathing. Come on. You got this. This is a strong one. Give me eight more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five. You got this. Come on. Four, three, two. Bring that top foot in front. You ready? Bring that hand behind the ear. Let's twist it. Down and up. Down and up. Give me eight more. Eight and up. Seven. You're looking strong. Six. Remember, if you need to go down onto that knee, you can always go down to that knee. Here's five. Four. Come on, you got this. Three. Two. And one. Bring it down. Okay. Let's bring out that bosu. If you don't have a bosu, you can always use a pillow. You can always use your Eric's pie. Or if you're more advanced, you can always use your stability ball. So let's bring it out. Let's take it into our plank. On that bosu, let's squeeze those heels together. Squeeze those legs together. Squeeze our booty. Pull that belly button in. Pull those shoulder blades down our spine. And we're just holding. If you're a beginner and you want to go down onto your knees, feel free to do that. More advanced, you get to stay up. Let's just hold it. Remember, nice relaxed fingers. No death grip in the hands. Keeping everything squeezing in. Come on. You got this. Keep holding, keep holding. Give me 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, remember to breathe. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's breathe down and let's just reach it back for a minute. And let those shoulders relax. I know they're working really hard. Taking those good deep breaths in and out. Let's bring it back onto those forearms. This time let's bring those feet apart. Hip width apart. Let's just hold that plank to start. And we're going to take that left foot. We bring it out. Breathe in. Right foot out. Breathe in. Just little steps. Side to side. Keeping those hips down. Trying to keep everything as stationary as we can. Really having to stabilize through the shoulder joint, through that core. As we step, come on. Here's eight, seven, six, five. You got this. Come on. Four, three, two, and one. Let's sit it back once again. Excellent job. Like, whoo. All right. Let's move that bozu up for now. And let's bring it all the way down into our Superman, Superwoman position. And what I want you to think, hands are at the corner of the mat, toes are at the corners of the mat. That belly button is squeezing in. Good rib to hip in front. We're going to take it. Left arm, right leg. Hold it here. While we're here, pull that belly button into the spine. Make sure we're not pushing it down into the mat. And let's bring it back down. Let's go eight more on this side. Here's eight. And down. Seven. And down. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Let's take it. Right arm, left leg. Same thing. We're reaching. Remember, it's not about how high up we're coming. We want to be as long as we can be from our fingertips all the way to our toe tips. Lifting through that hamstring, through the glutes through the shoulder joint, and not just flopping like a dead fish. Reach and extend, keep that core engaged in front. 
Here's five. Four, you got this. Three. Two, one more. We're gonna hold it up here, hold it. And we're gonna switch, switch. Keeping both those hip bones nice and even on the ground. Keeping that core engaged in front. Reach and reach. Here's 10, nine, eight. We're just swimming, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's lower it down. Let's bring those hands back. Let's keep those legs down. This time it's all on those shoulder blades. Shoulder blades reach back and back down. Until we reach, keep that good rib to hip in front. Back down. It's all about retracting and depressing those shoulder blades back towards those ribs, lengthening through those arms. Long, tight legs. Back down. Let's go eight more. Eight. And down. Breathe it out. And down. Remember, don't push those guts down into the floor. Keep that belly button pulling towards that spine. Reach. And down. Come on, give me four more. Four. Keep that head nice and neutral. Three. Oh, you got this. I know they're burning. Two. One more. Let's hold it. Lengthen like through those hamstrings and bring it back down. We lengthen, lift everything into our super girl position. Reach back down. Let's go five more. Shoulder blades or ribs. Hamstrings up towards our booty. Back down. Breathe it out four. Belly back in. Back down. Here's three. Back down. Come on, you got this. Two, reach, be as long as we can be. Back down, one more. One. And down. Excellent job. You should feel that kind of right at that very bottom of that rib cage, almost in the mid, kind of lower mid back. But we want to make sure on all of those positions, we're not trying to be that flopping fish. So let's bring it up. Let's sit it back, hips to heels once again. Lengthen through those back of those core muscles that we just worked. I know everyone always thinks core is just the front, but your core is everything from your rib cage, basically that xiphoid process, all the way down to the mid quads, and then all the way around 360 degrees. So it's not just the front, it's not just the sides, it's everything. If our back isn't strong, the front's never gonna be strong. We wanna have that good stability all the way around the body, not just through the front. So let's bring it back up into that tabletop. And let's tuck those toes one more time. Lift up into our bear crawl position that elevated tabletop position, and we're just holding. We're just hovering above the ground with those knees. Those shoulder blades pulling down into the ribs. Good flat back. Our booty is tucked under. Pull that belly button in, and we're just squeezing. Come on, you got this. Hold it there. I know this is a tough one. It's easy to want to let that butt go up. I want you guys to keep it down. Come on, tuck it under. Keep it there, keep it there. Tuck that booty under, squeeze that belly button in for five, four, three. Come on, you got this. Two, one, and let's bring it down. Excellent job. Let's take it onto our side, and let's bring those arms up. And let's just lean it over to the one side. And let's pull it back up. Let's lengthen over to that other side. And bring it back up. Let's bring it all the way up onto those knees. Bring that left leg out. And let's stretch it all the way over. Lengthening through that top side. 
all the way from our shoulder, down our lats, down the obliques, down that QL, all the way down through the hips. And we're just lengthening. Take that good deep breath in and deep breath out. And let's go ahead, let's bring that side up. Bring that leg in, let's reach the other one up. And let's reach it over, be as long as we can be. Lengthen. Just because it's core work doesn't mean that you don't have to stretch afterwards. You always have to stretch, it's about movement. We wanna be able to move through those full ranges of motion. So yes, even on those cardio days, even just on those core abdominal days, you still have to stretch. Let's take that good deep breath in. Deep breath out. And let's take it back to the front. In that tabletop position. Let's go angry cat, tuck it in. And back to tabletop. Angry cat, exhale. Tabletop, inhale. One more time, exhale, angry cat. Hold that angry cat, tuck the toes under. Let's go into that downward dog, lengthening through the back of the legs, lengthening through that shoulder joint, be as tall as we can be, from our fingertips to our tailbone, and from our tailbone all the way down those heels. Let's take that good deep breath in. Exhale, let's start to bend those knees, walk it back in. We'll just rise all it here, stretching through that back, and let's slowly roll it all the way up. And let's take that good deep breath in. And exhale. And you guys did an amazing, excellent job making it all the way through without doing one single crunch. So as always, thank you guys for tuning in. And make sure to check back next time. We'll talk with you soon.